What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel, John's Daily Hustle. Today we're going to install a universal caster wheel on the Toro Time Master 30 inch mower. So some of you that have been following me for a while know that this mower has some issues, mainly in the axle and front wheels department. As you guys know, you can go check out that video up there where I ended up smashing this axle over here. I ended up getting smashed into the side of my trailer and bent the axle, causing the wheel to be angled just a little bit and it's messed up. So we're gonna swap it out. So I got the Universal Caster wheels from Easy Mo right off of Amazon. I will put a link to this in the description and we're gonna install them. On Thanks for sure. I don't know how well this is gonna work on this because there is a noticeable size difference on the wheels so I think this is gonna make quite a rougher ride and as you guys know I do mow some rougher properties hey I'm doing this for you guys so go ahead and show me some love and hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing if you haven't already this kit comes with everything you need to install it on any push mower it is universal as it says it can go on any push mower all you'll need is some tools to take whatever your wheels off and then reinstall these it does come with these nice little instructions on how to do it it does want you to actually drill into your mower skirt if you're not able to utilize the holes that are already there. We're going to try and take the wheel off and see if we can utilize the holes. We're going to start by taking the wheel off. And hey, while it's in the frame, if you guys want to see my honest review of the Cujo Yard Shoes, go click up there in that link above right now. After you get your two wheels off, there's two screws right here and right here that you'll have to take out on both sides. And you will have to move the lever around over here to get them out. You guys see there's one there and then there's one back there. After you get the screws out of both sides, this whole piece just pulls right out like that. So I actually got one already installed now. The bolts that it come with are too big for the Time Master. You will have to drill that hole if you use the bolts that it comes with. But lucky for me, I had some smaller ones laying around. That might not be the best idea because that's a lot of weight holding on it. But screw it, we're going to try it anyways. Basically, I didn't want to drill that out because I wanted to easily be able to install the stock shaft with the stock wheels once I realized that this sucks. If it does suck anyways. It was pretty easy. I just took two bolts and you put them right through the holes that were already there from the existing wheels and put your lock washers and your washers and then your nuts on it and you tighten it. You can already see some future modifications coming like extending this out a little bit further and putting a much bigger wheel on it. There they are. They are installed. Now, once you have them installed, you just got to make sure that they are level, perfectly level. And the best way to do it, you know, measure one part of the deck and measure the back part. And I do believe the front part is angled up just a little bit. But this is with the back being set to its highest setting. So I've got to mow quite a few yards with this tomorrow and this week. So I'm actually going to go ahead and preset this to the setting I'll be mowing them on. I will say, just pushing it, this is actually kind of nice. That is, I wanted to hate on these wheels when I was installing them. I will say this is actually really nice. And I'm actually really, really excited about trying to use them tomorrow. While I'm working on it is I'm trying to adjust these to make them level with the back. There's actually a little slot right here you guys can see where a bolt like this goes through. And then there's actually a washer and lock ring on there that that spins onto and threads to lock that into place from going up and down. And then you slide your pin through there. I will say it's not the easiest thing to adjust. And it'll look like that pretty much once you got it adjusted. Now I can say before I even use this tomorrow, I can already see some future upgrades or adjustments that need to be done to it. For example, the adjusting the deck height, that is a pain in the butt. It's a little bit of a tedious process adjusting that and making them right on each side. As well as those wheels are tiny and I know that's going to become a problem very quickly. I'm not going to lie, I want to hate on it because it looks ridiculous and it's cheap and how small it is, but just pushing it around my shop, I kind of like it. So starting right off the bat with my first use, as you guys can see, I'm mowing it. This is a really rough property, so I think this is a good one to test it. And it definitely takes a little bit of getting used to as I'm used to push mowing. So even right here when I make this turn, you guys will see I do lift up the back just a bit out of force of habit because it's what I'm used to doing with this method. But so far on the first use, I'm actually really liking it. It really makes things a little bit easier and makes things a little bit less work than turning it because you don't have to lift it. Now right here you can see really how rough this property really is with all these dents and dips in the yard and holes in the yard. It's a very, very rough property, so I thought this would be a really good one to test it out. As you guys can see, the mower is just bouncing all over the place right there as I'm pushing it. Now I did want to test this out on a hill, and this right here is mowing in a ditch. Now, as you guys would expect, it does not work well on hills or inclines. So if you're someone that mows a lot of hills or inclines, I don't recommend using these on As the entire time that I'm mowing this, I'm just completely fighting it. It's wanting to fall down the hill and go into the bottom there. So it's a constant fight. Like right there, you can really see it. It gets going. It kind of gets away from you if you're not careful. So it's a little bit extra work trying to mow hills and inclines with it. 
So I'd say just stick with the standard wheels on the Time Master if you're somebody that knows heels and inclines. But you guys know I like to test things out just to make sure. I mean, why not? You gotta see it for ourselves, right? But now I definitely do plan on upgrading these wheels or doing some modifications to these wheels myself. And maybe one of the modifications I can do is some kind of way to lock them straight to where I can mow inclines and stuff with it and still have to catch the wheels when I want to. So stay tuned for that in the near future. I think it'll be a good time. So at the time of me editing this video, I've actually got to use it for about three to four weeks. It was pretty much the entire last month of the season I got to use it. I really torture test it, and I've had zero problems with it for the last month of its use. Or at least they haven't broke yet like they look like they will. They look pretty cheap and flimsy and made out of real thin metal, so I'm sure that they're going to have a problem in the near future, but so far it made it four weeks and it worked just fine. Now you guys definitely want to stay tuned because come the winter time, I do plan on making these a little bit better and been kind of making my own version of them or tweaking them or whatever you want to call it I do plan on making it better as with the four weeks of use that I've got to see there is some imperfections in it that needs to be modified so you guys definitely want to stay tuned for that and see what I end up doing and like I said if you guys are interested in trying these out for yourselves I have a link down in the description you guys can check it out for yourself they are universal so it works for just about any push mower, including just a regular push mower like this not just a time mask if you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up if you didn't already in the beginning and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing hey before you click off here go check out that video right there and YouTube recommends for you to check out that video right there and as always Hit that button right there to subscribe to show me some love. I really appreciate it. And as always, guys, thank you all for watching.